So beyond using the plus sign for addition or the dash for subtraction, that type of thing, uh, in order to do simple math, uh, Excel also has the capability to do some more complex math and uh, a lot of times it's useful to use the functions and functions are simply uh, some predefined operations that Excel already has in it and we have four of them listed here we'll go over because these ones are common they're ones that uh, you'll most likely use frequently and there's really two ways that we can do it we can do it using what they call the auto sum function which involves using the ribbon up here in the top uh, or we can just go ahead and type the function in manually. So let me just show you how the auto sum works in case that's something you prefer to use. Uh, what I do is I just click in the cell where I want to enter in my function, enter in my formula. In this case I'm in D4. And what we want to do is add these numbers 5, 10, 12, and 16. Now I could do that like we did uh, in an earlier video and do equals 5 plus 10 plus etc. But you can see that if I have to do that a lot or maybe I have a whole bunch of numbers, um, it can get a little too cumbersome. So instead, if I click within this cell, up here in the ribbon, I'm under the Home tab, and I'm on the far right in the Editing section. And in the Editing section, there's a button called Auto Sum, and if I use the drop-down arrow next to it, you can see I have uh, some frequently used functions listed, Sum, Average, Count, Max, and Min. If I click on Sum, it automatically starts the syntax for me, in this case S-U-M and then parentheses. And then it gives me a little tooltip down here that tells me what it wants me to enter in. In this case, number one, comma, number two, etc. So I do five, comma, ten, comma, twelve, comma, sixteen. And once I have that entered in, I can just hit the enter key on my keyboard. And once again, we see that what's showing in my cell is not necessarily what I've entered in that cell. We talked about that in earlier videos, but it's displaying 43, which is really 5 plus 10 plus 12 plus 16. Now, if I want to do that by hand, I can. I just hit equals SUM, and as you see, when I started to type, it started to guess which function I wanted to use, and I can either just come down here and click on that function, I can use the arrow keys to go to other functions in the list. And once I have the function highlighted that I want to use, I just hit the tab key and that starts that function for me. And I just do the same thing, 5, 10, 12, 16, and close the parentheses. They'll flash like that for a second to show me that uh, I've closed it correctly. And I hit enter and I get 43 again. Let's try average. And if I click within cell D6, I can come up here to the auto sum function in the ribbon and just choose average. Now it takes a guess at what I'm trying to find an average of, and we'll see later what it's trying to do. What it's doing right now is trying to find cell references, and we'll talk about that in a later video. But for now, to get the basic concept down, let's stick with these numbers and manually entering them. So I'm going to enter 5, 10, 12, 18. I hit enter and it gives me the average of those four numbers. Again, I can just type that in on my own. A, V, E, and there I see in my list, it's the second one down. I can keep typing until it highlights it, or I could have come down here and clicked on average. Either way, once I have it highlighted, I hit the tab key, and now I have that syntax entered in, and I can just enter the rest of what I need, 5, 10, 12, 18, close parentheses, and there we go. Now we can do the same thing with max and min. I think you get the idea with using auto sum, so I'm just going to show you entering it again here by hand because that's probably what you'll do most frequently. It's, it's definitely the easiest and fastest way to do it once you get the hang of it. So I'm going to enter equals max, and I've got max there. Hit the tab key, and uh, then I can enter in 5, 10, 12, 20. And when I hit enter, it gives me the maximum so I have the maximum quick and easy there. If I want to find the minimum, equals min tab 5, 10, 12, 22. Close parentheses, and it gives me the smallest number. So max gives me the largest, min gives the smallest. There's a lot of other functions, but those are some of the most frequently, one, uh, frequently used ones. And uh, two different ways to enter it, auto sum or by hand.